gonna all go like the way to your booty. To my booty, <laughs> and just over like make it something. Even doesn't look too happy yet. Maybe I will end up like this. For the past week, Steven has been keeping his hair a secret on Instagram, and in this video, we are about to reveal it. At this moment, I was wondering how my hair would look like. Nobody has done my hair before except my family, but I like the results. Katie was like, you are a football player now because a lot of people on the streets call me football player. Now I'm fresh for a whole new day. We are going to Kanishi Market now, but we are waiting for one of Steve's. Actually, we are searching one of Steve's family members. Um, and I think for the past hour or something, we've been driven in circles yeah, and left, circles. We left 10 o'clock. Yeah. It's now uh, 11.30. I think we left even no we left at 10. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah. left 10 o'clock. Yeah, so we've been driving for one, one and a half, half hour. hour. For for a place that is actually, if you look at the map, going back from here to our place is 30 minutes. 30 minutes. So one hour we've been we've been wasting driving, fuel driving, driving. because of somebody, you know. <laughs> um, I told him in Ghana, he's underestimating Ghana. In Ghana, every street now has an address. Oh, but he didn't want to send the address. No, he, he said, said go no to the address. shell and then the person will you give you direction. That's the old way. So for the people that are watching that are abroad or old fashioned, every street in Ghana is modern. They have an address. I'm my branch in Timiti Mikok Chia or Korampum. They say my branch in Timiti Mikok Chia or Nimu. It's good. Yay, we found her! <laughs> Steven is calling. Oh, look. Oh, hey. What's that? Oh. <laughs> He's that gone. Yay. <laughs> okay, let me hear you. The coincidence is that we have a fast food. 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 Baby, baby, office is good. Yo, yo, ain't in pack your Okay, okay, yo, 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 yo. We parked the car so that we could take a cab to the market. However, since we're not local and the taxi driver obviously saw that, it was quite hard to get a good price for the cab. So she just got the taxi. It's off. It's okay. Uh, the added density is above. <laughs> <laughs> and she's even local <laughs> and they still try <laughs> what do you think about me <laughs> Kanishi Market is one of the most popular markets in Ghana. It got its name derived from Kaneshi Shi, which means under the lamp, because it used to be a night market. So we are now at the market? Yes, we are at the market. And we bought some onions. Yes, with this the apples. Water. The red one. The red one will stop. And the like, red one will stop, like, like the chicken. Roland said, red means <laughs> danger. <laughs> Because we had so many groceries, we had to ask someone at the wheelbarrow to help us and bring all the stuff to the cab, who was then going to drive us back to our car. How much, how much do you think we spent? How many cities? Maybe 
1600 cities. That's your guess. Okay, I'm gonna say 1800s. Yes, I think it goes wrong. Frank goes wrong. Oh. <coughs> Because yours exploded. But now I made it explode. You made it explode. Yes. Mm, that's what she said. We are on our way to get our workout in. Cardio yes. Monday. But have you guys noticed that we're matching? We're green with black pants. Mm. And and we both have this. Mm. Uh, no, it's nice. Mm. We match. It's very nice <laughs> to have clothes. As you can see, we have just arrived at home. I'm already sweating, but we need to start unpacking all these groceries. We got this all for 1300 Ghana cities. So, we got this. You don't know what, what is it that? is. <laughs> huh? I will not tell. We got this. You don't know what it is. This is Finnish. We got this. This is okra. 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 We got this. <laughs> This is salad <laughs> to throw at Kaylee's head. We got a lot of where is it? A lot of avocados, healthy fats to throw at Kaylee again. <laughs> and then we got tomato puree in a nylons tomato puree. Oh yes. The tomato and the garden. Yeah. As you guys can the see, the whole fridge is stuck up. The whole fridge. <laughs> Instead of just storing everything in the bags they came in, Steve's niece showed us how to wash and clean all the foods before they got into the fridge or into the storage. You want to know what our total grocery amount is? We made a list. So we had two small buckets of onions for 50 cities, three salmons, big salmons for 100 cities. One small bucket of tomatoes for 80 cities, two tasty tom bags of 49 cities, 25 kilograms of rice for 550 cities, one bag of okra for 20 cities, two bags of spinach for 2 cities, two bags of igusi for 35 cities, one bag of white garden eggs for 20 cities, two bags of peppers for 20 cities, two big chunks of kokoyam leaves for 20 cities, six big pieces of yam, 150 cities, a whole bunch of plantain on, um, on a branch for 60 cities, two small buckets of bell peppers for five, two small buckets of carrots for five, two small buckets of cucumber for five, three lettuces for 45 cities, and one big piece of black soap for 45 cities. So the total amount comes down to around 1260 cities. All in all, in total, good shopping day. Today, we did the Cardio Monday at home. Because Cardio Monday, you can do it everywhere, anywhere. We started with jogging. Between the jogging, you do push-up, squats, or mountain climbers. We almost died, but we made it. For the full workout, see the description below. Uh, cardio Monday. Done. Let's go. Steve, what do you want to say to the people who skipped Cardio Monday this week? bunch of <laughs> cats <laughs> that's, that's. as you guys can see in our vlogs we are enjoying ghana to the maximum and stay tuned because next video we're going to explore what the nightlife in ghana looks like so as you can see we are fresh out of the gym still in our gym attire and we were talking about a certain topic topic is <laughs> how to get your partner to work out let's say you have been together for a long time and your partner doesn't want to work out but you really 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 want that person to work out then you got a problem most of the times when people talk about their partner not working out they look different first 
and now they gain weight and they want your partner to work out and then she doesn't want to do it because your partner feels like you should love me the way i am and that's true amen to that but that's not how you were <laughs> when the person met you you were at your best it's like the best impression of you and then you need to maintain that impression yeah that's an interesting way of looking at it i didn't even realize looking at it that way because when we first met i wasn't working out at all you never said hey i want you to go to the gym work out i i had a little bit more weight uh, you never mentioned that but maybe because that's how you met me you... when somebody was different and now you know maybe either gains weight or yeah. get less fit um so my personally my advice would be don't mention it too much but just show them by working out by yourself and then ask them with you don't force them and then all of a the sudden they will see that you are improving that you're getting better looking better feeling more fit and they will probably want to join you yeah but it's it, what you're saying is an interesting topic because now you love the person of course for who they are and you are in love with them but maybe their appearance changes completely and you were already committed yeah you and were that's deep diving. yes that's you that's deep in the sea that's hard <laughs> actually and eventually like you want to grow all together you know so you be selfish if you don't work out i find people that doesn't work out very selfish for example i have sisters i have family i have friends i need to be strong to help them i cannot be weak and then expect to help somebody because when somebody asks me to do some stuff for them it's easy for the body to handle it but just imagine like my 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 mother asked me like can you get the grocery and i am i'm lazy as fuck oh your yeah, your wife asked you to do something and you are just you one minute you are tired you know you know what i mean <laughs> <laughs> you know what i mean you cannot be tired you know you need to go you need to stay strong, be strong, be strong, be strong. you cannot force somebody um like you said when i met you 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 were who you were i i find that attractive and i that's why i didn't tell you like to work out but it's fun to have somebody it's fun that your significant other also work out because then you have common interest in something and you keep each other motivated then she can see like hey you are strong and then he can feel like hey i can help her with something you know everybody should work out and if you don't work out you just selfish I train people that 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 the legs doesn't work and they still are able to work out. No matter who you are, you are looking at me at, at this moment and you are not training. I'll tell you like for your mental and physical appearance, if you train, you gain you gain a lot of confidence. A lot of confidence, trust me. Ambitious made you do it. Thanks for watching. Let's go. Yeah.